Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of The Pie Squad. I'm Ori Hoffer, and our last few episodes, we've been uh, trying some of the more uh, gourmet style or uh, fancy pants pizzas. Today, we're going to get back to a good old-fashioned American style pizza down here in Salt Lake City at Rusted Sun. After we've tried so many uh, fancy pants pizzas with their wood-fired ovens and their uh, it's imported Italian flour, it was nice to get back to a, a sort of regular pizza. Uh, and I think if you're looking for a regular pizza, you're not going to find one uh, much better than this. Uh, it, it was great. After hitting so many of like the fancy pizza places, it's kind of refreshing nice to, to have to like <laughs> pizza. Yeah. This pizza exceeded my expectations. I was really afraid of another sort of um, lead belly pie thud in the belly kind of pizza, but uh, this was really well proportioned. And I fell in love with the sauce. It's kind of got this nice meaty kind of tomato, fresh sauce thing going on that I liked a lot like the crust. The crust I really liked, the crust a lot. The crust for me had this nice weedy sour bite which I liked and I really liked that with this wheat beer from Uinta. It had uh, it had a sort of sourdough snap but it still had that, that cornmeal flavor to it. It, uh, it actually had flavor. It wasn't just a, a big uh, ball, of, ball of dry flour. I thought the toppings were a little, you know, lackluster, really. The salami didn't didn't add much to the Mediterranean pizza, but I think it w even if it had a little flavor, it would have been overwhelmed by uh, by the green olives. Uh, those, those were uh, those were those were pretty salty. Love the saltiness of that green olive and the feta just really brought a lot of nice flavor, and I had never had a pizza like that. I liked them a lot. I liked the combo. It wasn't. Uh just a bunch of stuff scattered on there. I thought it was pretty well balanced. I am, you know, a big fan of the fancy schmancy pizzas. I love them. But it was nice to come in and just sit down with a beer and have a pie. I just wanted to just speak up and say I have a little bit of a problem with the characterizing these other pizza as fancy schmancy pizzas. Well, you know, going to uh, a Cetabello or, uh, or a Vinto might look at it from the outside and see fancy tablecloths and, you know, decor on the, on the walls. And I'm spoiled. Pizzeria 712, Cetabello, places like that have spoiled me for any other kind of pizza. So I don't know how often I, I come here without a teenager in tow. But uh, overall, I gave it a 74, and that's, that's pretty good. So I gave the pizza overall 84, and uh, I like this place. I'd come back. Overall, I gave it uh, an 82. I was I was pretty happy with this. Again, yeah, I would agree with everybody. Uh, if you're looking for for a good pizza, it's right uh, easy access right off a of, right off of I-80. Uh, definitely come down here again. I gave Roasted Sun uh, 84 points, and I will be back. Well, a lot of heated discussion about what makes a pizza a gourmet pizza because this one was pretty darn tasty. 81.4 was the average score from our Pie Squad team. That is pretty high praise for something that didn't come out of a wood-fired oven. Come on down to Rusted Sun. It's right on State Street, just north of 21st South, so uh, right across from Salt Lake Community College and uh, Salt Lake County government offices. So you'll see all kinds mixing here at the restaurant. That'll do it for this edition of the Pie Squad. You can see all the Pie Squad episodes on our website, parkcity.tv.